Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a super foxy cat eye lash look of sorts using the new Lashify Eyeline Lashes here. I did already use them and I washed them, cleaned them, fluffed them up a little bit. And because I use them, I feel like I can also share my thoughts and opinions on them. Unlike their other lashes that come in cartridge like this, the Eyeline Lashes are pre-mapped. So you'll see right here, it gives you the sizes. Inner corner starts at 8mm and the outer corner goes all the way to 12mm. And the lash clusters themselves are kind of slanted at an angle so they're not up and down like your typical clusters. These are very unique, very different from basically anything that is out there in my opinion. The only thing I will say is that if you like longer sizes, as of now I don't think they come in longer sizes, I'm not sure. Maybe if you subscribe for the membership or maybe they are coming out longer sizes, I'm not in the loop so if you know do let me know in the comments. But I have tried these and I really really like them and mainly because I have been really loving L curl lashes. So what L curl lashes are is a lash curl that basically is like an L it's very jagged kind of like an L shape and L curl lashes are really great for hooded eyes or if you have deep set eyes because they don't curl in they're not super curly at the tips so they're not going to touch your brow bone and because they curl up and out they don't make your eyes seem more deep set than they need to be they give like the illusion so really great for hooded eyes and deep set eyes in my opinion L curl lashes are hard to come by you usually have to get them done at the salon professionally and they are pretty extreme like they're literally like a jagged L and I feel like these are the perfect balance for a soft L curl type lash. I'll show a side profile here but they have a much flatter curl than other clusters. I'd say they're probably like a J curl but they're not as jagged and intense like it's very soft and beautiful so making it really really great for deep set eyes or hooded eyes in my opinion. So if you have deep set eyes or hooded eyes and you are looking for a super foxy cat eye lash map, I think you will really really like these. And I think they call them the eyeline because they give you like the eyeliner effect without any eyeliner. I'll insert a clip of what it looks like when I have all of the clusters on. They are absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Really fun, again, very unique lashes. But in today's video, sorry, this is like my cat Chai and she's just so nosy. She was just taking a nap and now she's like up and at it. But what I wanna do in today's video is use the these as kind of like a half lash so really emphasizing that super foxy dramatic cat eye lash map so I do already have some mascara on usually I do not recommend having any mascara on and you want to start off with clean eyelid eye space eyelashes all of that making sure it's free of any dirt and oils but because I'm gonna be using these kind of like a half lash I did apply one layer of mascara to kind of help everything blend together. I did have somebody ask if I ever used clusters just on half the eye. I have done it before but I wasn't crazy about it but I feel like with these you can really get away with it and it will look absolutely gorgeous. So let's just get right into it. I zoomed you guys in so you can see a little bit better. I also purchased the Whisper Light Flexible Bond so one side has the black micro mascara wand which I actually bent the tip a little bit because I find it's easier to apply to my natural lashes and then the other side has a clear glue with a brush. I love having both the brush and the wand because what I usually like to do is I like to take the micro mascara brush and dab some along the base of my natural lashes. I think there's like an airplane outside so you might hear it. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Someone's living their best life up in the sky. So using that micro mascara wand just dab some along the base of your natural lashes or if that noise is distracting. And I'm only doing half the lash as I mentioned, so I'm gonna stop about right where my pupil is. And it's hard to see because I do have a little bit of mascara on. Sorry, let me let that guy in the sky fly by up high. <laughs> I can just keep going and going and going. I'm being ridiculous at this point. Okay, hopefully it's not as loud. And because these are kind of pre-mapped, you can't really mix and match these, especially because they're kind of slanted towards one side. It will tell you on the cartridge which one goes on which eye. So the top one goes on the right eye. On the bottom, it says left right here in teensy little letters, making it easier for the consumer to know where to apply which cluster. And you wanna apply the longest length on the outer corner. So I'm gonna grab the 14 and using that brush, I'm gonna apply some of that clear glue onto the spine of the lash cluster. This way I have glue on my natural lashes and I have some glue on the spine and I feel like this just really gives me really good hold. And if you wanted to, you could also swipe some of that clear glue along your natural lashes to kind of coat them as well. As for placement, you want to place it as close to the root of your natural lashes, but you do not want it to touch the waterline because it will irritate your eye. You also want to make sure you're following the natural curve of your eye. So if you place this one 
a little bit lopsided and jagged and it's not following the curve of your eye it might poke when you squeeze your eyes shut you should not feel any poking or irritation or any discomfort whatsoever if you do then you might have to readjust the lash cluster so i'm gonna go ahead and place that one right there on the outer corner you can see that the glue has developed some tackiness making it very easy to apply so i'm gonna go ahead and plop that one right there look at how beautiful that is it's just like an instant swoop i call it the nike swoop these are just really really pretty and my next 14 kind of broke so i'm gonna use the smaller piece here first so you do want to be gentle with these if you are going to be reusing them so i'm going to place that one right next to that cluster i'm going to grab my teensy little cluster here that broke it's part of that 12 millimeter cluster that broke so i'm going to place this little guy right next to that other 12. To finish off this half lash map here, I'm actually going to grab a 9. I tried the next cluster, an 11, which I love that they have odd sizes in there. I think that's really great because sometimes you don't want too much of a jump from one cluster to the next. I tried the 11 and I wasn't liking how it was looking, so I'm going to grab the 9. And I liked how this looked a lot better. And I'm going to place this right next to the 12. So it's quite a jump. But depending on your eye shape, you can play around with different sizes and see what works best for your eye shape in particular to get that lash map that you are looking for. So I want like a really dramatic foxy cat eye lash map. So I want it to be really, really, really short in the inner corner and a lot longer and more dramatic on the outer corner. So I felt like the nine just really gives me that look that I'm looking for. And I'll show you guys in a little bit once I've done pinching everything together to my natural lashes. Because I do have mascara on underneath, again, I don't usually recommend it, but I wanted to demonstrate a half lash map in today's video. So leaving my lashes bare, it just wouldn't work because they're super blonde, super light, so I needed everything to blend together. Again, I have two 12s and a 9, and this is the end result. I feel like it really gives that super foxy cat eye lash map. You could use all of them, or most of them, however many fit on your eye, and you will still get that really beautiful eyeliner look, which they were going for when they created this, but just for the sake of showing a half lash map situation, this is the end result here and I actually really, really like it. If you wanted a little bit more dimension in the inner corner, you could grab the 8 and place that right next to it, which I might do. Let me actually just see how it looks. Okay, I really, really like how this looks. The first time that I tried these lashes, I did the full blown 12, 12, 11, 10, 9. I didn't use the 8, but I feel like for my eye shape in particular, and plus my eyes are a little bit smaller, I feel like this works really well. I did two 12s, a 9, and an 8, and this is the end result here. Like just a really nice, swoopy, foxy cat eye lash map. Let me know what you guys think. But I'm going to go ahead and finish the look on this eye here, just to show you guys what it looks like all said and done. Alright you guys, here is the finished look, both eyes done. I feel like this is the ultimate foxy cat eye lash map for sure. And if I were to do this again, I probably wouldn't apply mascara. I would only do mascara on the inner corner because a lot of my lashes are longer than this lash map. So they kind of stick up. I had to kind of take some of that mascara off with my fingers, which I wouldn't recommend. But it was kind of interfering with the lash map because my natural lashes were a little bit longer. So if you're doing a half lash, I'd probably just apply mascara to the inner corner. Just a personal recommendation, something that I noticed filming this video, applying these lashes. And then I went ahead and swapped out the 14 for a 12. So my finalized lash map is a 14, a 12, a 9, and an 8. So you can definitely play around with the different sizes. Just make sure you're applying the right lashes to the right eye, the left to the left. And then start with the longest length on the outer corner and go shorter and shorter and shorter, but you can play around with what sizes you use as you go down in sizes. But the end result I think is absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is like the ultimate foxy cat eye lash map and I think these are really great for deep set or hooded eyes because you don't have that really super dramatic curl even though I love 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 a d curl or a super curly lash for my deep set eyes it can hit my brow bone these are a lot more comfortable and again because the lashes lift up and out they don't kind of make your eyes appear more deep set and then the cat eye lash map just gives that swoop super elongated cat eye look so really really love these it's my second time using them definitely going to be washing them and reusing them again and keeping these i would recommend them as well especially if you love like a cat eye foxy lash map and here are what the lashes look like from a distance just so you guys can get an idea i think they did a really really good job with these lashes the eye line because there's really nothing out there 
like this. Very unique curl and they're slanted to the side a little bit. Very unique style. I think they did a really, really good job with these. And I personally love a cat eyelash map. So these definitely delivered. If you have tried them, let me know down below. If you haven't, then I would recommend you do try them. But to finish off, I'm going to use the waterproof sealer here. And I'm not sure if this helped or not. I did use it the first time. And usually this glue doesn't last that long for me. But the first set I was able to use for, I think I had them on for like five, six maybe seven days which is pretty good and then I ended up removing them because the outer lash right here fell off and then I wanted to film another video so it might help I haven't like you know tested it to the extent like swimming or anything like that it's worth a try and I love the ballpoint tip I love when sealers have that so I'm just gonna go ahead and run this along the base of the lashes here and I didn't find that it was too waxy I like this one over the other one for sure. So if you need a sealant, this one's actually really, really nice. So let me know your thoughts down below. That kind of finalizes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and lashing. Thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.